Hey friend, John McLennan here, and in this video, you're gonna learn how to play some beginner blues slide guitar. I'm gonna take you through a 12 bar blues in the key of G with a little hint of some Muddy Waters style slide licks in there as well. I'm gonna break it down for you step by step. But real quick, if you're new to the channel and you haven't downloaded my fretboard guide yet, you're gonna wanna grab this first at the first link down below. And this is gonna show you the five must-know chords and scales to map out the entire fretboard. I wanna give it to you completely for free. All you gotta do is go to johnmclennan.com slash fretboard guide, or you can use the first link down below as my gift to you. All right, well, hope you enjoy that. And with that said, Let's dive into this lesson. Let's break down this beginner blues style lesson here. I'll play through it one time first so you can hear what it sounds like, and then we'll break it down. Here's what it sounds like. One, two, three. So let's start off with what we call the riff off the one chord. Now, when we play just the open strings here, this is actually our one chord, the G chord. So we're gonna do this cool little lick that starts on beat four. So what I'm playing there is the third fret on the second and first strings, and I'm sliding into those on beat four and, so one and two and three and four and one and two and three and. Then we start this groove. Now, with my strum hand, I'm actually not using a pick. I'm using just my thumb and my index. My thumb is going down, my index is coming up. So I'm brushing up with the index there, four and. Then I start this groove where I hit the lower bass strings, starting on the fifth string with my thumb and then I brush up the treble strings with my index finger. Then I'm gonna rest in between and then just do the index, so. See that? One and two and three and. Then of course on beat four, we'll tie in that riff again. Four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. I'm gonna do this four times. So that is what we call our one chord, the first four bars of our 12 bar blues. From there, we're gonna move up to the four chord. Here, we're gonna slide up to the fifth fret. And I'm playing basically strings five to two here for this chord. Then we're gonna go. So common, this little blues move here, Muddy Waters would do this a lot. And what I'm playing is the third fret as sort of a passing chord down to the G. It's like a B flat so to a G. So C, four chord, passing chord, B flat, G. Then when I get back to that G, I go back to that one chord riff. So this is the first eight bars. Let me put that together so you can hear what it sounds like. Now remember that we're starting on beat four, four and one with that pickup. One, two, three. Now we're getting to the last four bars here. We're gonna play what's called the turnaround. Check this out. So we're going to the D chord next, and what I'm doing is sliding into the seventh fret again on those middle strings. We're gonna stay there for a bar. One, two, three, four, then 
drop it down two frets to the fifth fret. One, two, three. Then hit that passing chord again on basically beat four to one. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Then we're gonna play this classic Muddy Waters lick here. And that's just sliding in. This is all on the third string. Seven, 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 down to five. Then you slide into three, kind of two to three there, and then open. So it's all on the third string. And then we hit this G note on the downbeat. So one and two and three and four and one. Then we do this classic little blues turnaround. This is sliding into the fourth fret on the fifth string. Then play two open fourth strings. So here's the last four bars played as one piece. One, two, three, four. All right, let's put it all together. We're gonna start on beat four, remember with that pickup, and play all the way through the blues. When we get to the end, we'll just strum the open strings. Get set, I'll count us in. One, two, three. So take your time with those different riffs, the riff going over the one chord, and then going through that very common 12 bar blues progression. And to help you put this together even more, be sure to pick up my ultimate fretboard guide at the first link down below. And this is gonna show you the five must know chords and scales to play in any style, anywhere on the neck. And this is such a useful, just one page PDF that you can grab completely for free. All you gotta do is go to johnmcclennan.com slash fretboard guide, or I've made it easy for you. You can just click the first link down below. All right, well, hope you enjoy that. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you have an amazing day, and we'll see you in another video real soon. Yeah.